Miami Dolphin football player, Rob Conrad, I felt it was time to come forward and address the issue of boating accidents, plus the seriousness of wearing a life jacket. Fellow Toastmasters and the media, some Floridians believe having a boat is as normal as having a car. Why not? Florida has 1,350 miles of coastline, 4,500 square miles of inland waterways, and tropical climate. It is definitely a boater's paradise here. And I'm sure you know there are a lot of boating accidents here in Florida waters as well. In fact, Florida leads the nation in boating accidents and fatalities. What bothers me is that boaters aren't more careful with their precious cargo on board their crafts. By precious cargo, I'm talking about themselves, their family members, their friends, and pets. Now, according to Conrad's press conference last week, he fell off his 31-foot boat while fishing alone nine miles from shore. A wave just knocked him over while it hit him and left him in the water. There were no other boats in sight, so the former NFL pro sans a life jacket and fighting the ocean currents started swimming towards shore. Luckily for him, he made it after a 16 hour ordeal. Earlier this year, two Jacksonville men were killed and a woman seriously injured when their 16-foot motorboat collided with a dock. None of them were wearing a life jacket. According to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission, the cause of death in 62% of boating accidents in this state alone two years ago was drowning. There are four misconceptions about wearing a life jacket. They are First one, I'm a great swimmer. Why would I need to bother with a life jacket? Well, being a great swimmer has nothing to do with you getting thrown overboard into the water unexpectedly. That's why you have a high percentage of drownings, and water temperature also plays a key part. Number two, I'm not a kid. I'm an experienced boater. I know what I'm doing. Well, in Conrad's incident, he proved things can happen like a wave just knocking you over in an instant. Number three, it's just too hot out there to wear something bulky and comfortable. Not to mention, ruining my tan line. <laughs> Life jackets today come in all sizes, and it doesn't matter how tall or short you are. And colors can even free and participating marinas in conjunction with CETO, you can get a life jacket to borrow. And the fourth one is who will notice if I wear a life jacket? Now I ask you, who would notice? Just go and ask somebody, a family member who's lost someone to a boating accident that didn't wear a life jacket and what their family Coast Guard, the National Safe Boating Council, and individual states have a program called Wear It. The program, or the slogan, is a simple standardized reminder to encourage everyone to stay safe on the water by always wearing a life jacket. And I totally agree. I've been boating for seven years now, and it just boggles my mind the peer pressure from other boaters when I pull my life jacket out of my bag to put it on. I've even had one of my sailing buddies tell me not to ask the captain if they had a problem with my wearing a life jacket, but to wait until after I cruise that very first day. Can you imagine? Ladies and gentlemen, life jackets do save lives. Just like seat belts save lives in a car. That one simple task can make the difference between a fun day on the water 
are becoming a statistic. Remember, in Florida, it happens to an average of one person each week who never thought it could happen to them either. I could go on and on, however, I only, I'm running out of time and I promised a few questions at the end. I thank you all for coming tonight. Any questions? Yes. Have you ever been in a boating accident and what did you learn from it? I have not, but I have been on the boat many times where I've heard others over the radio calling, especially Mayday Maydays, and saying that someone had actually fallen overboard and they had no idea how to get that person up back on the boat and nor did that person have a life vest. Yes? I'm curious to know, because I watched the news reports of that football player, nobody asked me why did you wear a life jacket? Why did you do that? Ask me why did you wear a life jacket? I don't know, and there's also a lot of speculation that that story is not true. <laughs> <laughs> because no matter what kind of a great condition he's in, he said that it took him 16 hours to get back, and most people could not, the majority could not survive that story. over the age of 18 that's not re no longer required. <laughs> Under 18, it's mandated by every state. And one of the things that the, all the states are now doing is they're tying your boating insurance to your driver's license. So if there are, God forbid, any accidents on your boat, you could lose your driver's license as well in the car, mm -hmm. which is a great step in the right direction. Anybody else? What is the common size boat for an accident? The majority of them are fishing boats, but a lot of them are anywhere from 16 feet to 40 feet. It doesn't happen so much on the bigger yachts. Okay. At least they're not telling us. <laughs> Even though you do not have have to wear a life jacket if you're over 18. Mm -hmm. Is there a regulation of having so many life jackets on board a vessel? Yes, every <coughs> boat has to have one life jacket per person that would be on that boat, depending on the size of the boat and the number that they're allowed to carry. The issue is, and I've, I've actually gone out and bought my own life jacket because of this problem, I've gone on to many boats to crew and they've had their life jackets still in cellophane, so they've never taken them out of the packages. I've been on boats where the life jackets are as moldy as moldy can be, and you wouldn't even want to put that thing on you. Mm -hmm. And then some of them, they don't even know where they 